I'm Mike Sullivan. I think you know the situation. You're just behind the greenside bunker. So there's a bunker between you and the hole. Where do you hit your shot? In the bunker, right? We're gonna talk about how to quit dumping those shots into the bunker. dumping those pitch shots into your or into the bunker short of the green we get to practice the shot i think that's the number one most important thing so just the fact that you can find a place to show up and practice hitting this little pitch shot over a bunker is going to help out a lot uh, also you'll notice this is actually kind of a realistic situation i've got a pretty good uphill lie going on here and um you're a lot of times going to face some kind of an uphill lie when you're trying to hit shots over a greenside bunker. So I've got my little practice ball tube here. I'm going to dump out a few balls. Get rid of all these here. Maybe we can move those around later. But um, so here's the thing. Uh, whenever we watch people hit any sort of a short game shot, if they miss their target, either short or long, they almost always miss them short. So what I would say is, is try to visualize the ball landing in the hole. That way you're going to be more air, you know, you're going to be more apt to air on the side of long rather than short. And long is usually going to be okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and take a, take a little walk up here and see what I got. And I'm going to try to land this ball actually in the hole is going to be my thought. Okay. Second thing. Since I've got this uphill lie, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna put there's gonna be more loft on my on my effective shot. So my, the dynamic loft of this shot is going to be higher because of the uphill lie. So so that again it's gonna mean I'm not gonna have to swing a little bit harder than I normally would would have to. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna increase my shoulder tilt, and I'm gonna try to get my shoulders tilted just as much as the same angle of this of this slope so if this is a flat slope here's my incline and i'm going to get my shoulders trying to match that all right and i'm going to know that this ball is going to go up high my practice swings i'm going to try to get my divot a little bit ahead of where the ball is and i'm going to just go ahead and swing aggressively on this shot Look at that, that one actually missed a little bit long, about a yard long, okay? So this is, um, this is a nice, you know, I wouldn't call it a tight lie, I'd call it a pretty good lie for this shot. Um, one thing that's gonna happen is, and I'm gonna see if I can find a, a shot here that's got, they just mowed around here, let's see if I can find a nasty shot. So what do you think here, Lauren? Find a bad, a bad lie somewhere? Okay, so now we have got a genuine We've got a bad lie. So Dave's been doing a good job of cleaning up the range here, and we've got a bad lie. So the, the way this ball is positioned, if you can get a close-up of this ball, you can see it's going to be really difficult to get my club on that ball. All right? So I'm going to play this one more like a greenside bunker shot. I'm going to purposely hit behind the ball and carry the turf behind the ball forward and get the ball just to kind of come out on that on that piece of turf. When this ball comes out, it's going to come out a little bit lower, and when it does hit, it's gonna roll. It's, it's not gonna to wanna to stop. And our practice green is not maintained like a putting green anyway, but. Am I right. in danger here? No, you're not in danger, but no. By the way, <laughs> no talking of shanking when you're getting ready to hit a shot, right? I didn't say the word. All right, here we go. Thinking positive. I'm gonna hit this ball fat on purpose. I am opening my stance a little bit like a bunker shot. Ooh, barely got over it. Okay, so that's a great example of, you know, the, the whole idea of this video is, the whole idea of this video is to make sure you hit it extra hard. And I barely got over that. Let's try this again, really bad lie. So you gotta remember, you know, what, what, where do you want this ball to end up? On the green. So let's make this really, really bad. 
really bad. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna get really, really aggressive with this. This is great practice. There we go. All right, so when it comes to, <laughs> When it comes to trying to get over any sort of a, especially a greenside bunker, it's amazing how often we leave the ball in the bunker. So practice the different situations that you're going to face on the golf course. Someplace at a range where you've got an actual bunker. I mean, most golf courses, I shouldn't say most of them, a lot of golf courses have got a practice area with a bunker. Find a place where you can do that. If you cannot find a place to do it in a practice range, sneak out to the golf course you know, late at night or later in the afternoon when no one's out there and drop a few balls and try that. Of course, you wouldn't sneak onto a course without being a member or, pay or paying or anything. I think you know what I mean by that, all right? Incidentally, you'll notice the club that I'm using here is a cutter wedge. If you're interested in this wedge, it actually is great for these trouble shots. Uh, there's a link in the description to my website where you can learn more about it. And if you purchase through the website, we get a little bit of a bump. So great product, cutter wedge. Thanks, Cutter Golf. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.